Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, buttstock and the grip here. Um, I received a couple things from Magpul uh, yesterday, so um, the buttstock I received was the MOESL, let's see, MOES carbine stock. That's what I'm going to be putting on today on the MP1522. Nope, not the MP1522, it's just the MP15 Sport 2. That's what it was, so sorry about that. But this is going on today, and I'm going to put on the grip today. So I paid about, was it 70 bucks, I think it was. Uh, might have been 80 bucks, somewhere in there, but that's what I got from Megpool. So let's just start installing this stuff so I can show you guys how to do it. First, just extend this all uh, the buttstock all the way out <clears throat> that little lever here like I said just pull it down make sure it's all the way out all you gotta do is just push this down I don't know if you guys can see that very well push it down oops not like that pull it down and it slides right off just like that and it should look just like that This out of the way. And this comes with a bunch of papers and this comes wrapped in plastic. And just take this out. Let's give you guys an idea what this looks like. And this is like a little rubbery texture here to help, uh, I guess prevent it from sliding so but that's pretty much what it is the same thing how I took that off just pull the lever up and you see the pins right there up and down so you gotta pull lever up pull them down it's kind of stiff so just bear with me on this one so what you gotta do just slide it up on here Let's try it this way. Um, and the little lever here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Not really, but yeah, there it is. You kind of see it moving. Let's pull that up, pull the pins down. That's that right there. Let's see here. So. So it's on, sorry about that, but it's kind of new, it's stiff still, so and six. So that's pretty much what it looks like, it's nice and tight, like I said, it's a little stiff, um, but once I start moving it and playing with it a little bit more, it'll break in, so, but that's what that looks like. And now we're going to work on uh, the grip here, so I'll show you what that looks like now. And here's the box that it comes in. Comes in like a little baggie, that's a Ziploc baggie type thing. And has a little carrying case with it too. Kind of push that pin down, pull this out, and here's the screw that you would use if you want to use it. But I think I'm just going to use the one that's already on here. So 
for this you're gonna need the 3 16 Allen wrench I don't know if you guys can see there's like a screw up there with the washer and stuff on it so I'm just gonna use the same one and just go from there but when you guys do this there's a spring that sits up here so make sure you watch that and pull that off pretty easily so So just kind of hold the handle. And kind of wiggle it out. out I think so just watch that spring when you pull it off you guys can see the spring right there so it's small but just keep an eye on it this sits in that little hole right there and right I don't know if I can see it or not it's just right up in there so And here's the bolt with the washer and everything on it that was in there. So I'm just going to use that one. So let's put the spring back in here. Just make sure it lines up. tight so make sure it get to put a little bit of force on it just make sure that spring I'm sorry about that guys just make sure that spring lines up with that hole kind of tight stiff so you got to kind of really hit it seems like the fire and safety is working the way it was so that's a good thing so now we got to do is put the bolt back in with the same washer and everything on it enough and that pretty much what it looks like it don't take that long let you guys get a closer look at the grip you guys can see it a little bit so that's pretty much what it is that's from Maypool the buttstock is from Maypool so but other than that that's pretty much it guys so just leave your comments and um, like share and tell me what you guys think and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later
Thanks, bye.